The Scottish Government has set up a hardship fund, amounting to some £23 million across the entire seafood, fishing and aquaculture sectors. It offers some support during the time boats have been tied up. Like both Duncan and Alistair, Bob Teviotdale is eligible for the fund. We've come from like a total shutdown and we're now getting a few days stuck in at the minute. And like his West Coast counterparts, the Creel fishermen from our broth can see glimmers of recovery. The lobsters were landed this morning. Uh, I think they were due to be exported to Dune in Singapore. So, um, so there, there's starting to be slight movement. Tell me about price. How how is the price being affected? Well, well price is basically halved. It, 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 it's basically halved. What's actually helping at the minute is the water temperature's down. It's re it's really cold, so the catches are quite poor for this time of year. So it's given the merchants a chance to find the market for the, more, the small amount of stuff that's coming in. There's no point in us oversupplying the merchant because we'll just come unstuck. So what we're trying to do is just um, get a few days in and, and get the gear checked over and, and just take it from there. And Bob is pragmatic about prospects for the future. It's all about tourism and restaurants being open. I think it's safe to say we're a long time before, before that's going to be happening. So, yeah. It's going to be a, a long time before we're up and running properly. Since March, we've heard from many Creole fishermen across the country who still have nowhere to sell what they land. And while government intervention and support is welcome to many in coastal communities, foreign orders and local deliveries are a small flicker of hope, a step in the right direction.